Put your ears up. Okay, guys, this is another crazy story from the Ten Revival. Another, um, another deaf guy got healed. So it's actually really cool. So he was standing in line, right? And uh, he was very deaf. He couldn't hear at all. And um, so, and he had a speech thing. And it's cool because God, his, his speech cleared up too. It's crazy. But anyway, so um, I don't. If you watched the other video, I was talking about uh, the tent revival. We had this huge United Tent revival, and it wasn't about one main speaker. We had about 12 speakers come in. But the cool thing is, we had about 80, 90 volunteers. Uh, a lot of them from our church, Sid Canoe, um, and people we've trained, 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 and then some of them from different churches who came in to help out. And um, it wasn't about a church or whatever, but we were just the church putting it on, you know. And um, so, but anyway, so people people were getting healed left and right all over the place and so this girl had gotten healed earlier that morning and she was deaf and i put another youtube video you can watch it this deaf girl got healed and she's ecstatic she's going crazy she got healed and right but here's the trippy thing so this guy was standing in line for food and i so i tried to talk to him and it turned out he was deaf too he couldn't really talk and i'm sorry he couldn't hear and his speech was very mumbled like you could barely hear him so i i looked at him and i said jesus is going to open up your ears can i pray for you and he said, I've had a lot of prayer. I've had hundreds of people pray for me. It's not going to work. And I said, brother, it's going to work. We have this girl. Her ears opened up this morning. The same God who healed people of deafness 2,000 years ago is the same God today and is going to heal you right now. And he said, all right, you can give it a try. I said, all right, I'm not going to try. I'm going to heal you. And make sure, again, you announce the miracle. Announce it, guys. Let it come out of your mouth. Say, I'm going to heal you in Jesus' name. Let the words that are spoken be words of faith. And so um, pray for him. Come on, Jesus. And, uh, and he says, all right. Well, thank you. Thanks for the prayer. But the crazy thing is his voice, he can't tell, but his voice actually cleared up. And he could he was talking much clearer. And I had this feeling that he was going to wave me down in a bit and tell me. And I was like, all right, man, well, bless you. Have a good day. So I walked off. And five minutes later, I'm walking by. He's still in line for food. And he flagged me down. And he's so excited. And he pulls me over. And he says, brother, I can hear brother I can hear he said it worked and he's talking to him and it's crazy and he stayed at the tender pile for that day and he came out a couple other days he gave his heart to Jesus I mean it's just incredible stuff got filled with the Holy Ghost but he was so wrecked just because of the power of God and it's amazing and so when people say hey hundreds of people pray for me it doesn't matter you turn your expectancy and you pray for them in Jesus name and watch them be healed and love you guys in fire and I want to encourage you guys never stop praying for the sick and never stop praying for the hard stuff of the hard stuff in Jesus name it's the easy stuff for you but you know like um, uh, like deafness cancer all that stuff heart conditions even amputees all that stuff never stop praying hey, as long as people will let you and do it in love obviously never blame the person's lack of faith take it on yourself so that your faith grows so you can grow your faith you know uh, but anyway love you guys bless you fire in Jesus name bye yeah What happened? You said Jesus opened your ears up? You heard him loud. That's Jesus, man. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. So your your ear your ear works now. <laughs> and you said a lot of people prayed for you. Come on. Jesus. Yep.